When it comes to US, it can be the Trump card, probably the good surprise, because it has a, a large catch-up potential. <laughs> So Philippe, following a worrying start to the year, should investors adopt a new approach to assets that can be described as risky? Yes, definitely so. We think we have entered a new investment regime because monetary policy has become important and it spells different approach because asset price reflation model is no longer valid. It deserves new policy responses Probably global cooperation must change dramatically. We have to exit the currency wars and be sort of uh, non-cooperative systems. Regulation must be reviewed very rapidly also. And one think, of course, about banking regulation and dot franc in order to improve the liquidity of markets. And when, when it comes to Europe, Europe has to migrate rapidly towards a banking union and probably euro bonds. We are at an inflection point. This is money time for markets, definitely. And in these circumstances, one should consider some gold in portfolios, but also long duration sovereign bonds. And can you explain some of the downside risks that we're currently seeing in the markets? Right. Uh, there is a, a stall speed when it comes to global growth. And uh, US economy is probably experiencing deceleration with the Fed being behind the curve. So this is rising the odds uh, of deflation and deflation can be very, very corrosive when coupled with a high debt level, which is the case actually. It puts pressure on corporate balance sheets, on profitability, on investment, and this is a, a very low uh, visibility sort of an environment. In this environment, people are more uh, demanding, P ratios may be lower, we can experience larger spreads and higher risk premiums. And it's not surprising that we're seeing a bearish attitude to 2016 so far. There have been woes and worries in the markets. Right. But have there been any economies that have fared rather well so far this year? China is experiencing a delicate pass, that's right. Uh, but the transition is uh, deliberate and is probably the right destination, the right strategic move for them and China has deep pockets, so we are not so afraid of China falling apart. When it comes to the US, uh, the deceleration is more cyclical in nature, so this is a, a good economy and uh, the fundamentals are healthy. When it comes to US, it can be the Trump card, probably the good surprise, because it has a, a large catch-up potential. It has also uh, become a bit more competitive lately, thanks to Mr. Draghi but it deserves, it needs a big shift in political respect, big political traction. Great, well, Philippe, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you for having me. Well, that's all for myself and Philippe, but for all the latest Jugoscopy updates and exclusive interviews, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.